Android's seen better days. That's for sure. Is that a hot girl in jeans? between the truth and their lies. There's no shelter. All see why. It will find you. There's a sickness coming, my children. Gray and deadly. It will come. Stop spreading propaganda. What was that? Don't hurt me. Carry on. Training exercises for augmented soldiers? How did they think this was gonna go over with the public? You okay, sweetheart? Uh, I'm a little shaken up, but I'm just glad we got off the streets. I almost shit myself when that group of cops came blazing around the corner. We were seconds from getting trampled. Center security logs for you. Sandoval signed out. He isn't there. Tiger will know where he went. You really think he'll tell you in the middle of a riot? In front of all the media? He will if I ask real nice. Well, if that doesn't work, he also has a dressing room backstage. Seems to me a man like Taggart must keep close track of his employees. Speaking of which, I also backtraced that breach in our own firewall. The one Sarif opened but forgot to tell us about. The one he was using right before he hired me. Right. Looks like our boss was being chatty with a private detective named Brent Radford. He lives on Earl's Court. In case you want to get chatty with him, too. Interesting. 
Somebody's been here already. Hmm. That was weird. What are you doing here? Why do you ask? Are you okay? Jensen! Oh, Christ! Brent Radford? In the flesh. For now. How do you know my name? What happened here? Answers for favors. There's a, a trauma kit I keep somewhere around here. Find it. You need a doctor. I'll get help. No. No time. The, they could be back any minute. Find the kit quickly if you want answers. I'll be back. Did you find the kit? Oh, sweet Jesus, the pain. Morphine. I ain't talking with, without something to kill the pain, asshole. I ain't talking with, without something to kill the pain, asshole. You better be careful who you're calling asshole, buddy. This should help with the pain. Now tell me what's going on. Those sons of bitches. I should have seen it coming. I knew from the moment Sarif got spooked that, that this case would come back and bite me in the ass. Sarif. So you're the investigator he hired to run a background check on me? Detective. Or I was, until... Christ, fuck it. It hurts enough just trying to breathe. Point is, the goons that did this to me, professionals, I think your boss pissed off. The wrong people, trying to dig up your dirt. What people? What did you find? No time to, to go into details. My storage unit, the sons of bitches, they're headed there now. Sarif had me uncover a ton of shit on you. Stuff even you don't, you don't know. Your parents, your, your real parents. The tests, the fire, what are you, Jensen? Some kind of freak? Focus, Radford. I put it all. I mothballed the case in storage. It's in an alley. Behind the bank. Your files are there. But Michelle knows. Michelle knows more. You need to stop. You need to stop them. Fuck. You robot. This... This is all your fault. Give me, give me another shot. 
Morphe, or go fuck yourself. I'm leaving, but I'll call in an ambulance. You'll be okay. No. Those fucking animals. I... I can't move anything. I was turning around, pulling my gun when... when the first bullet hit me. The second one. They... they fucking... Pa paralyzed me. I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. It might be a reaction to the morphine. I know what morphine does. I also know what a 9 millimeter round fired at less than 10 meters does to the thoracic vertebrae on impact. You need a doctor. They can fix that. I ain't turning into no freak. Even if I could afford the surgery, the augments, I'd rather die than be half a machine. And I sure as hell ain't gonna live the rest of my life in a wheelchair, shitting in a goddamn diaper. Radford. Listen. I know there's still a few more morphine shots. Another two should should do the trick. Please, this is as close as I'm gonna get to begging you. Don't leave me like this. You owe me that much. Is this what you really want? Does a bear pope in the woods? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I fucked that one up. Listen, robot, if I could do it myself, I would. I got no family left, no one left to mourn. It's for the best. I ain't gonna be no burden on society. Last chance, Brent. Just fucking do it. You're coming this close to getting a bullet in the fucking skull anyway. It'll be quick. I know. You... You did a good thing. Here. The ones that did this. I'll find them. Look at you. An iron... G g giant... With a heart... Of g g gold. B b b but don't do... Do it f for me. D d do it... F for her. For... M M M Michelle, you owe her here yeah. life. You don't need that anymore. Also, I owe you this. Being a dick. Have a nice day. Hey, I remember this place. Pizza. I'm trying to quit. Anything behind your fridge? Good luck moving it back. Oh, you douchebags. Uh, didn't get to see you the last time. Richard, I located Radford. He was attacked by men in suits. Private security, secret service types. I'm going after them. What about Radford? Did you get anything out of him? He didn't make it. There was nothing I could do. Right. I'll call it in. 
You have a new lead, at least? Yeah, I'm on my way there now. I'll contact you when I have more. I gotta find the storage locker. Hey, Michelle. storage locker, but that's not the storage locker. He is. I know Mr. Da Mr. Gray is landing tonight. We're working on it, yeah. Send Smith down. Right. Thank you, sir. And we'll contact you as soon as we have the information. I'm gonna hit the man in the black suits. Doesn't sound like it's gonna be that hard of a deal. Let's take a walk over this way, buddy. No. Got your back!
Access granted. Excellent. Fire destroys White Helix Labs. Twisted Cedar, Michigan. At 4.36 a.m. on July 18th, firefighters were called to White Helix Labs to fight an early morning blaze. By the time they arrived, the main building was already engulfed in flames. General Manager Michael Barris could not be reached for comment, but a pre-recorded message had been left on White Helix Labs' toll-free line, stating that nobody is believed to have been hurt in the fire. That message was later removed when firefighters began pulling bodies from the wreckage. The recovery operations are currently ongoing, Fire Chief Minnie Hawkins told reporters, but also stated that the circumstances behind the blaze are very suspicious. White Helix Labs, a subsidiary of Versalife, is a bioresearch firm studying childhood genetic diseases. Weird. Hasselbox? Hasselbox? Is that like Hasselhoff? Are you gonna give me Hasselhoff? Consider your contractual obligations fulfilled. This investigation is over. 
I'll get in touch to organize the renting and payment of your services. Dating around for someone from White Helix Labs. Mysterious boy wonder, Brent. Medical files. Arthur Jensen had enough connections to his old Desert Storm buddies. Turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost. But he couldn't hide Marky's records. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then employer, White Helix Labs, to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants at 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs burnt down, all its files and employment records were lost, and the Jensen's stayed invisible, mostly. Here's the thing. One minute, Adam doesn't exist, and the next, the Jensen's have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. That's when they pull their vanishing act. So on a hunch, I sniffed around some more, and sure enough, the Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies, but Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There's no real trail saying how he was placed in their hands. I hope that helps. No, it doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. All that does is put more questions in the world. Same damn apartment building. 